Well, hello folks, my name's Ian. Welcome to me shed. Welcome to me channel. I wasn't going to film this, uh, but I thought, well, why not? I've been busy in here, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, and I came across a bit of scrap. It took up some space on my bench, so I weighed straight in and started clearing it. It proved to be a right sob and i thought eh, i'll tell you what there might be folk out there who get something similar and are gonna go tell you what that's going in as motors or in the shred so uh i won i definitely won but it was hard and it was long and it was messy so this is my second attempt, and I'm going to see if uh, I can make it quicker. With brute force and ignorance, of course. So come along with me on this little scrapping adventure. I've been getting quite a bit of stuff in and it's building up. But at the same time, I've been working on, on that. And then I got some of these light fittings. Uh, you know, in factories overhead, you know, you've got a, a big aluminium bowl. I've already taken that off and squashed it. But the idea was like, oh, well, I need this. I've nowhere, to, I've literally nowhere on in the garage to put those. So it's like, I'll start breaking them up. And that's like I said, I thought I would share this with you. Right, so it's pretty simple. You've got this aluminium hose in it. It's hung up from some chains from the ceiling. It's upside down. It's got aluminium light shade. I've taken that off and flattened it. Inside, it's got a ceramic uh, bulb holder, lamp holder. That turned out to be copper. And with some nice bits of brass in them. Oh, quite quite chunky pieces of brass. There's a there were three of them. Right, you screw the top off. Easy peasy. You take this spacer plate off. You've got one, two, three, four bolts. You take them off. You got a uh, large capacitor. Twenty. 20 farads, 20 farad capacitor, 240 volts, which funnily enough is the same as that motor I picked up with the burnt out capacitor. So that gives us something to play with later. And then you add this uh, aluminium top part, which that went into this particular case. I've already broken it up just so it takes up less space in my aluminium bag and then you end up with something like that when I turn that one upside down not what I wanted to see a potted something well like I say I've already broken one open so I know inside of there nice coil of copper but getting it was a whole something else Let's get me hammer. Of course we get, get the hammer. Of course we're going to get the hammer. Right. It's kind of a... Herdish... Pot. Not like the terry stuff. Because it does, it does shatter and break up. More like epoxy resin that, that's gone hard. We're going to do this one. We can see, we got what I want to call, it's like a jelly mould in it, a blancmange mould. I'm not so certain, jelly, I know you people in America call jam jelly, well it's not a jam mould, jelly's the stuff that you, you get hold of and it, and it wobbles. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, so anyway, was whatever's in there put in and then 
epoxied in place. Uh, it's got to be really, because the close up there, you can see a little bit of the epoxy on on the inside of this lip. Otherwise, it was made up as an epoxy unit and then pressed into place. I don't think so. I think putting the epoxy board over the top. So, it's got an internal with a quite thick piece of aluminium at the bottom, which that's screwed into. Like that. Pretty hard. What I did, I found a suitable point, what I thought was the thinnest point, and with an angle grinder, cut all the way across and broke it apart. It worked, but when you start grinding this, that's not nice, it's nasty. It fills your garage full of this like white powder. Can't be good for breathing in. Right, I'm gonna try a different track. I'm gonna get me a big block. And what with a big hole, nothing wrong with a big hole. Stick that over the top, centralize it. Find chisel, punch, bits of old steel. That's off a, that's off a washing machine. Old, oh, that's off a washing machine as well. And I've got a chisel, some sort of like big chunks of steel, and a big armor. And I'm going to try and smash out the middle to see if that works. If that don't work, I'll go back on the old way and get a grinder and split the edges. Bear with me. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, I'm gonna wear big heavy gloves for this. Right, I'm gonna knock that middle out. I'm gonna try that one first of all. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, for a bit of an older. Whoa, you can't see that. There's big cracks going up all the outside. So I think this is gonna work. Right, so that went through, shattered that. I don't think you could see that very well. and produce some big radial cracks up the outside. That should make my life quite a bit easier. Next step's gonna to have to be separate the outside from the inside. I'll take my uh, brick hammer and that worked there. Let's try a crack there and a crack there. So, that's working. Big chunk off. Get me V block. It's a little bit lower, actually. I'll turn it and use the V, that gives me. so well these days. Right, so that's releasing. That's working. Working quite well actually. Bash. Bish, bash, bosh, another piece. Right, we're nearly there. Nearly there. And that is the last of the jelly mould off. We've got, an in, we've got a bit inside, which I think we can go on. Back to the big one. And 
Um, we'll knock the middle bit out. Well, that was easy. That was easy peasy. That was easy to knock that out, weren't it? Right. Show you where we're at. I well, certainly needed the safety specs for that. Hitting this stuff just shatters and flies off everywhere. Okay, it, it shattered off easily, and off two seconds. What we've got now is a bit like on a uh, microwave single pole motor. You've got the U with the copper in between, and then on a single pole motor, it runs off a microwave that have the little knuckles of copper going around there's a piece of cross isn't there you can knock out and that is the same as that that little piece could be knocked out so when you start yeah you're prying away or knocking out you get this little 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 block of uh, laminated steel out and i found the easiest way in the end as always i just used my brick hammer Put it on a tilt and knock it over, flick it out. Loose. Ay, ay, ay. Definitely messy, but I've now uncovered this ring and a bit like a microwave uh, transformer. <laughs> Just going to turn that over. I'm just going to knock the uh, the copper out of it. Again, I've got my block with a big hole. Can't go wrong with a big hole. And I'm gonna, just going to see if I can just tap the outside laminated U off. I can, but I think with, uh, that helped with a... that worked so I can knock that uh, laminated U off my ring and uh, all that iron is going to go in my iron tub so let's uh, Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right, in the iron tub. Hey, wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Now we've got the last of the you off. We've got uh, a little bit of copper ring here with. Can somebody put in the comments what this is? This. It's like, I'm going to say it's resin. It's got to be resin, hasn't it? Uh, oh, by the way, it is copper. I'd be really disappointed if it was Chinese. Huh? So there we go. Just let's throw this on the scales, eh? So there we go, just over one kilogram, 2.3 pounds in this instance, of uh, unit 2.3 2 .3 and 3 quarter ounces, nearly 2.4 pounds. Uh, what we're fetching, I don't know, five pound, six pound, six pound in English money for the copper out of that and possibly a kilo of uh, aluminium cast aluminium 
1500 pound a ton another one pound 50 so that's giving me what i say six pound seven pound 50 a little bit of brass and other aluminium no problem i'll push the boat out and say eight pounds eight pounds english money for bringing home one of those some exercise oh we've got the iron as well haven't we uh like i said i round it up to eight quid eight squids for some for some copper and i'll get that one done well actually i wanted to know so we've got the aluminium is actually two pounds 13 ounces a kilo actually 1.3 kilos 9.50 well let's ride it up with the iron to 10 quid wow that's not bad now i picked up three four of those 10 quid each easy 40 quid <sighs> back to my beer see you lot in the next one that's it <laughs> well you probably figured out i wasn't going to leave that last one and what do you know Followed the same procedure, but the full inner came out in one go. The case split practically in two and just tapped off. Meaning, it's a lot, I'm, I'm either getting better or it's a lot easier. And I'm back again. That's because I thought, well, that was a bit long-winded, knocking off all this, uh, whatever it is. What happens if I just try to knock the you uh, off, the laminations off, without all that lot? And guess what? It just knocked off. So that one was there, which means I ought to be able to just knock... This job is getting easier and easier. But just remember, you need a big hole in something to do it right. Sorry, I'm back again. I can't believe how easy I've just done that last one. Probably three minutes. Uh, swarf magnet, easy peasy. final sweep to get the rest of the iron right i wish i had a hundred of them i didn't only had three it's typical in it by the time i've just sussed out how to do that efficiently i ain't got any more <laughs>